Hello, welcome back to another Chanel reveal video. I hope you guys are doing super well. My name is Amy if you're brand new to this channel. As per usual, let's get the outfits out of the way. So I'm wearing my Chanel necklace, Chanel earrings, favorite tennis bracelet of late. All of these things will be linked down below. This top, oh my gosh, is so soft. I actually don't like turtlenecks at all. I have a few of them, but I hate wearing them. I wear them only because when it gets really cold, I have to wear something warmer and really protect my neck. But this one is not to the point where it feels so tight that you're like suffocating. I feel like it's still so breathable. The fabric drapes really, really nice. Is cashmere. It's from Lily Silk. You guys know that I'm a big fan of Lily Silk. I've been working with them for the longest time and I have been a big fan since day one. It even comes with like a little piece of thread. Their, their packaging is just on point, you guys. If you're gonna get one piece of knit this year, this one, get this one, it's so, so good. You guys probably already saw this shirt that I wore a couple of videos ago. This one is so pretty. It's kind of like a lavender rose color. They tuck so easily into anything because the fabric is so drapey and very thin, but they keep you warm and they just feel amazing. They're breathable and they just make you look super polished without even trying. Getting back to this reveal, here is the bag. I'm not gonna do the box because I already started using it. So let's just show you and then let's talk about it. Comes in this beautiful dust bag. Of course it came with the box and the ribbon, but I already opened it and I already started using it, so. This is from the 19B collection. I know, I'm going backwards. Uh, 19B collection, I think it's called the roll drawstring bucket bag. So the 18B collection, I actually did buy a bag. I bought the Gabrielle bag in the burgundy color, which again, amazing bag, loved it. But I never really noticed this bag until first I saw Lux Purse, Lux Purse Love. So I saw her reveal hers in the marine blue color in the larger size. And when I saw it, I was like intrigued, but I was not interested yet. And then of course I saw a few weeks later or maybe a couple weeks later, I saw LV Lover CC, so Karis, hello babe. I saw her reveal hers in the red color in this size. We are about the same height, I'm just slightly shorter than her. So I know that, you know, bags that she likes, I'll most likely like as well. So I was intrigued, but I was not, you know, I was not like, I must get it yet. Then, of course, Jerusha revealed hers. And the more I saw it, the more I loved it. Of course, at that point, I was going crazy. Like, my mind was going crazy. I contacted my local SA. Everything was sold out. I also found out that it was sold out in all of Canada, so no chance of getting it in Canada, which is the reason why I had to go to my personal shopper. Um, so I bought this from Morena Fashion Lover. She's my personal shopper. I have two personal shopper, by the way. Um, highly recommend Morena. Her name is Andrea, actually. So uh, we'll link it down below as well. Uh, my other personal shopper and friend is Kathy. So we'll also be linking her down below. Her handle name is CHL Couture. My biggest Chanel bag is my Chanel Jumbo Flap. But it's not a bag that I want to wear all the time. I don't know why. It just... It's not always my vibe, basically. Whereas something like this is so my vibe. You guys know that I love Becca bags. Hi, Gina. I know that you thought about me when you saw this bag and uh, we've been chatting so much on Instagram. The reason why I got it is because I love bucket bags and there's just a lot of the details on this bag that I was really attracted to. It's still on the smaller side, so when whenever I wear this bag, even crossbody, it doesn't it doesn't look it doesn't look out of place. It just looks very very cute and just like it doesn't bulge out too much. When I carry it handheld, it looks so so nice. And I love carrying a bucket bag handheld. I got some feedback from some of you who told me that you are having trouble getting in and out of your bag because this is hard to open and close with just one hand. And my trick is that I just leave it alone. I don't even really move it. I find the sweet spot where it doesn't, um, I guess it's not too constricting, but it's also not so like all the way down. Something like this, I feel like is a really good compromise. So you can still get in your bag without having to move this CC. In the past, they all have a, just like a solid chain with the leather piece. 
and I'm not attracted to just the solid chain ones. Um, I think in general, solid chains just make things more heavy, they are clunky, they make noise, and they just don't look as polished in my opinion. So that's why I was never really attracted to any bucket bags before until I noticed that this one basically ticks all the boxes. The front of the bag, the side, and the back. Alright, so you'll notice that on the side this is where the seam is and then of course this portion of the leather, they call it the rolled drawstring because of that reason. Press and release. When you press it then it totally releases. Top handle here is sewn onto the bag so it's held by this piece of D-ring so there's just a couple of rings here. Shoulder strap is also held by another D-ring, so the other D-ring is also stationary. You cannot remove it. You can tuck it inside the bag, but you cannot completely remove it. And that's pretty much it. Everything, like all the hardware on this bag, the champagne gold color is stunning. Um, again, interwoven chain, like I said, this is one of the details that really drew me to this bag. I have my organizer in there right now, that's why you see a bit of red, because I chose it in the burgundy color. But besides that, there's also a slip pocket, and the bag is made in Italy. I raved about this company as well in the past, and I still rave about it. So they kindly sent me this beautiful organizer, which is custom to this bag because uh, this bag is only seasonal, they don't really make this bag every single season so it comes with a little... Um, it's from Zumuni, one of my favorite organizer company. They've also extended my discount code FASHIONABLYAMY for 20% off at checkout so definitely make use of that. Whenever you're worried about your bag either sagging or losing its shape such as the jumbo single flap or um, if you have a really wide open such as the never full like you want some organization in it it's always a good idea to go with a custom organizer because they will just take your bag and functionality to the next level period so for this one I mainly wanted it to keep its shape because right now it's brand new there's nothing wrong with it but I just feel like over time the leather because it is quite soft so now that I removed the organizer you can see that the bottom is quite soft. With this bag, that was the only concern that I had because I love the aesthetics of it, but the leather is, is you know, kind of... I feel like it is a thinner caviar. It is also kind of a matte caviar with a tiny bit of sheen. Did I mention that it was black caviar? <laughs> Sorry, I forgot to mention. Black caviar, 19B, it's called the rolled drawstring. Let's go and unbox the piece of jewelry. Again, it came with the ribbon. Okay, stop it. I already unboxed it, so there's no point in doing all that shenanigans. So, come to this box and... I have officially acquired my first Chanel bracelet and this is part of their permanent line. I will link it down below the style number. This has a graduated size of pearls so it goes from small pearls to bigger pearls and then the dangly charm. The only thing that I would say for this bracelet is that I wish that the little crystals were on both sides because on the other side it's just a plain gold which is still really pretty, but I just feel like if they did it on both sides, it would be so much better because your arm is constantly moving. It sits lower on my wrist because I have like, I have baby wrists. And I know that some of you have baby wrists too, so welcome to the club. But I love the fact that this one has this really nice charm. It drapes really nice. And even when you're like going like this, uh, the charm still drapes really nice onto your hand. It's not a bracelet that I will wear all the time, but I'm glad that I added it to my collection because uh, you can never go wrong with pearls. Pearls are classic. And also, I feel like I don't have to have bare hands anymore. I mean, bare wrists, bare arms anymore when I want to just add a bit of bling to my arms. I hope that you guys enjoyed the reveals. I feel like these will be my last Chanel purchases of the year. I know cruise is coming up, but 
from just from what I saw on Instagram, there was nothing that really caught my eye. Um, actually, I do want to ask you guys something. If you have the Chanel 19 bag, because that's probably the only one, like the only bag right now that I'm really, really attracted to, but I have no idea if I'll love it because I hear mixed reviews. I hear that the chains are really heavy and that the bag is too slouchy because of the material. Um, it's also really confusing online where it says that the small size online is lambskin whereas the other sizes are goat skin and from my experience goat skin is more durable than lambskin durable as in like it just feels a little bit more tough and thicker and whatnot so I would love your feedback on this bag if you have it I haven't really seen a lot of reviews on it I saw maybe like a few videos but not Nothing in detail, nothing in the types of detail that I like to know, you know? So let me know down below if you have um, if you have a Chanel 19 bag, what size you have it in, what color, material, and if you recommend it for me. Anyway, that is it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you're brand new to this channel, I would love to have you back. Please consider subscribing, liking, and commenting down below to let me know. And I hope you guys are having a great day ahead of you, great week ahead of you, and I'll talk to you guys again very soon. Bye!